All right, let's check out this article. Influencers react to Norway photo edit law. Welcome honesty or a shortcut? And the idea here is to help people who see all these idealized images online and compare themselves to them and then feel bad about it because, you know, they don't look like one of these supermodels. Who does? <laughs> anyway, it says a duty is introduced to mark retouched or otherwise manipulated advertising when this means that the person's body in the advertisement deviates from reality in terms of body shape, size, and skin. Like I see what they're trying to do here, but for number one, this would never fly in the United States for straight First Amendment issues. It's my right to pretty much present any image to the world that I choose without having to give some sort of a warning on it. What if you had a thing that affected you in a way that maybe, you know, you wanted to use a digital filter or some makeup or some editing so that you could present an idealized version or maybe the version where you're more comfortable showing none of my fucking business, frankly. It's your choice. Well, so to have the government come in and say that, you know, you have to start labeling these things is just wrong for a million reasons. Besides this, it doesn't really address the main issue. One of these influencers, Erin Christiansen here, she pretty much nails it. She says... Mental health issues are caused by so much more than an edited photo. And another badge on advertisers' photos won't change how young girls and boys truly feel, in my opinion. And that's true. Mental health goes so much deeper. It's as important as physical health. If you're not taking care of both. You really need to give them equal attention, maybe even more attention to your mental health because there's so few outlets and set of... <laughs> it's not like there's a mental health gym. <laughs> Although the gym is great for your mental health. So if you're struggling, hit the gym. Anyway... It's also kind of silly because, you know, all the stuff on the internet is fake. Yeah, and all your favorite artists lip sync during their concerts. And beyond that, all your favorite Hollywood superhero hunks are all on steroids and HGH. Surprise! <laughs> so this is just like the tip of the iceberg here.